Dr. Brobottom here with the story of my life. Well, it all started when I was born. Is it normal to be born to three different mothers? Anyway, I went home. They had this cat. The cat was really misbehaved. The cat abused me often. At one point, the cat scratched me so much that I bred po <laughs> bred. Uh, I'll get into that. Bread is my favorite word. That I bled profusely, and the entire bed was pretty much stained red. And I was driven to the hospital, but then I was forgotten. And this is where bread comes in. Me being about six months old at the time that it happened, just wandered along until I saw some bread on the ground. Then this guy was like, hey, that's my bread. Me being a baby just like picked it up. The guy got really angry. So he's like, oh, my bread. And I'm like, you know, two years old. Eh. So I ran with the bread. And then, it, you know, the guy chased me. I was pretty fast. And I went to this store. And they sold cigarettes and pipes and cigars there. And I said, nothing. I was like six months old. What do you think it comes from? Anyway, me being in there, well, I, th I like bit the bread into the shape of a gun. I pointed it at the cashier's head. I said, give me something. And he just like gave me a pipe and I was in love. And then after that, it wasn't really clear. My next memory, I was one. All three of my mothers, well, they strapped me to a pool floaty. I floated into the ocean where I was adopted by a monkey. How the monkey was there, I don't even know. Anyway, well, the monkeys took me in... Life was good. Until I was about five. Then a monkey threw poop at me as a joke. Oh. They didn't see what was coming next. I dropped the coconut tree on their head. But yeah, grabbed an axe and went down. Next memory I had, I was ten years old and I went to school. I dropped a coconut tree on the teacher. Then smoked a cigar in the middle of class. That was me. Anyway, not long after that, I was 12 and I decided I want to be a teacher. I didn't pay much attention in school. I decided I'm not going to be a real teacher. I'm just going to like sign up for classes because who wants to work at a school with those annoying kids? <laughs> Mr. Teacher, he threw an eraser at me. And I would just be like, into their face. Naturally, then, I'd get reported and fired. So, I did that. I was 20, and I finally went into it. Just using the knowledge I picked up. I think I'm a great teacher. <laughs> you know, out of 100 students, 75 had failed. That leaves a whole 25 haven't failed. That's a great. One of them has a great grade. This was my best grade too. A C minus. It was great. Anyway, I'm 40 now. Hmm. Sorry. Need some sort of ashtray, right? Uh, life is okay, except for that kid I taught last week. He's smart. He acted dumb, and I fell for it. So this is for you, Cletus.
Oh my god. 